Hello crafters, this is Yana Smakula. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am wrapping gifts and using wax seals. This is not something I typically share here on my YouTube channel, but I have been so fascinated with wax seals in gift wrap, I just had to do a video and share it with you. So if you have been with me for some time, you might remember some of my videos from last fall where I shared the Spellbinders wax seals on cards. So I have the Spellbinders wax seals starter kit unboxing video and also some tutorials. Wax seals have been around for ages and I'm so happy to see Spellbinders bring wax seals into the card making world and I'm happy to see them make them more accessible and easy to use for us card makers. Now, as much as I love to use wax seals on cards, I have been using them a lot to decorate my wrapped gifts. In this video, I'm sharing my wax seals gift wrap process. I'm using my Christmas gift wrapping paper, but I turned it outside out and I'm just using the craft side of this paper as that's what I like the most. I have found I prefer craft wrapping the most when I'm using wax seals. Now this type of wrap seems to go best with wax seals concept. If you want to do something else, I think you could easily use solid color wrapping paper. Maybe try to avoid using busy patterns as that would distract from the wax seal. So you just want to wrap your gift using something simple, maybe solid color wrapping paper or wrapping paper with a minimal uh, print. With the gift wrapped, I can begin picking my decor. Here I have a selection of dried flowers. I bought these from a local gift shop. Now you can also pick your own dried flowers by picking flowers in the wild and drying them. I have had some success with that this summer. But you can also purchase a lot of the different dried flowers and you can also purchase them in all sorts of different colors as these types of flowers can be artificially colored. Here some of my flowers are artificially colored. For example, that red and yellow. The dried flowers I got from the store come on a long stem as they are intended for a bouquet or a vase, but I don't need the stem this long, so I'm just trimming these stems using scissors. Now I like the process of picking flowers for my gift. There's just something so soothing about it. I have selected three different pieces. Now I don't know the names of these flowers, so I wouldn't be able to name them. I think they look amazing when combined together. Now I particularly like the color combination of these. I've added a piece of yellow tape to temporarily secure my flowers in place. So I made sure the piece of tape is small and it would be hidden under the wax seal that I'll add on top. I will not be removing this tape. It will sit there permanently holding the flowers and then I'll pour the wax over it. So in the end, you will not be able to see the tape, but I do add a little piece of this tape to hold the flowers for now. Now you can hold the flowers with your fingers, but I find that these dried flowers, um, they're not flat like die cuts. They are a little bit dimensional and they move around quite a lot. And if I do not tack them down, they might move in position in an odd way once I pour my wax. So and I won't be able to fix that, you know, once the wax is poured. So it is just better to tack them before putting the wax on top. Now, I wasn't sure which color wax I wanted to use for this gift. I wanted to play around, so I first went with red color and pearlescent white. I didn't quite like that in the end, so you'll see me change the wax color later. Meanwhile, I also added some baby's breath to this arrangement. I have saved some from floral arrangements that I received in the past. And by the way, bouquets are also a great source for dried flowers. Sometimes florists add dried, fl dried flowers to floral arrangements. So once your bouquet dies, you can remove the dried flowers and save them for wrapping gifts. I do this a lot. I love to reuse things and it works really well for me. So I added a branch of baby's breath to this gift and I'm also tying a piece of twine here. This will create the illusion that twine is holding the flowers in place. You can also add ribbon, although I would advise to use something flat, you know, something that doesn't add too much bulk when tied into a knot, as that would make it very difficult to add wax on top. 
I decided to go with green wax for this. This is from Spellbinders in color green. It is very beautiful, very sophisticated green. It has a little bit of pearlescent shine to it. So this color wax has a bit of depth and dimension to it. You know, it's not flat. It's very pretty. I'm using five wax beads here. Typically, I go with four or three beads if I'm making a seal for a card or a tag. But if I'm pouring wax over something dimensional, such as flower stems or die cuts or twine, I like to use more wax and I pour it slower as if to first level the surface and then add another layer of wax to do the actual stamp pressing. Now I also taped the end of the twine. It was getting in the way. I did this temporary. I just taped it to get it out of my way so that it did not interfere with me pouring the wax. And now I'm ready to pour. As I pour, you can see that the wax does not form a circle as it typically does on paper. That's because I have all of the extra stuff here and that stuff prevents wax from flowing naturally. So I'm being mindful about where and how I pour it. And with the wax poured, I then use my seal stamp and I press it into the hot wax. I do actually press it down. This is not a flat surface. Again, we have dimensional items here. So you do need to apply some pressure to have a good impression. I press it down and I hold it down for a few seconds. I then wait for another minute or so to let the wax cool before I remove the stamp. And voila, it looks beautiful. I can now also remove the yellow tape that's holding that extra bit of twine. Now, sometimes I do not get good results. That's normal. The stamp might not stamp perfectly or I might not have enough wax, you know, or things or something else, you know, things just happen. So I re-pour another layer of the same color wax on top. You can see I have my bead warmer off to the side and I had actually started melting some more green wax there. This was just in case this didn't work the way I had hoped, but it did, so I'm glad. Okay, one final step is to add a highlight. I'm using a deco color pen from Marvi Uchida for this. This pen is absolutely perfect for this kind of task as it has a little chisel nib to add color to the raised sections of the seal and I'm just highlighting those raised sections in gold. Now, sometimes this pen bleeds more than I would like. In that case, I just take it off to a scrap piece of paper, you know, I get the ink off the pen and I continue my highlighting. And here's a look at my finished gift wrap. I absolutely love it. I feel tempted to give more gifts now and my friends have particularly enjoyed the wax seals wrapping that I have been spoiling them with. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Is this something you will try? Would you like to receive a gift wrapped like this? Uh, don't be shy. Leave your ideas and feedback in the comments below. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.